So in part two of our best text destinings of all time series, we're moving on to India now. Good traction in our first series. What do you think, Moin? Uh, some rather controversial picks in our Pakistan one. I suspect this might be a little more friendly. Yeah, look, I think obviously we said at the start, you know, there's obviously recency bias and we've accepted that. You know, we've tried to be authentic in the sense that we don't want to pretend as if we saw that Mammoth 16-hour vigil by Hanif Muhammad against the West Indies. Now, if you, intellectually mm-hmm. speaking, yes, that is probably the greatest test innings Pakistan has produced. But we've tried to go, you know, by what we have seen, obviously limited by our age, uh, you know, just to sound more real, right, and and credible. Yeah. So that's what we've aimed at, right? You know, where no pretenses or anything like that, just trying to just be as transparent as possible, right? So the issue in Pakistan, unfortunately, is that we haven't had that many great, great test innings, you know, of a certain stature that we're probably going to be talking about today, right? Which is why <laughs> yeah. we're probably going to get a lot more consensus, I can, I foresee, in today's uh, episode and topic, which is India. Right, yeah. I, I Although... I think we might get a little bit more um, traction or um, resistance in the comments in this episode. I think that we didn't get uh, that much hate in the comments. There were a couple of them about Hanif Mohammed and all of that. But I mean, I've got a slight and you know Pakistan bias in my list. Spoiler alert! I'm sure you do as well because that's the games that we watched the most and probably remember the most. Um, but um, well, you don't. Yeah. All right. I I only have <laughs> one, two. I've got okay, two Pakistan. I- well, two out of five, I guess. Or six, two out whatever. of five. Fair enough, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I'm sure the fans will remember, uh, the Indian fans will remember, will probably know more. Uh, and again, you know, we've looked at context and home away, eventual result and all of that, which is why one glaring innings is missing from my list, which some would put at number two or one, <laughs> which we talked about in the last episode as well. But anyways. All oh, right. Okay, well... <laughs> But anyways, okay. should we do the usuals? Go go from our five to one. Yep. All Number right. Five. Should I go? Um, go for it. Look, uh, you know, it's tough to get to a list of five great greatest test innings of all time, accepting a bit of recency bias, and not have one of Sehwag's triple centuries in there, right? Um, and I've actually gone for his first, India's first. It was against... Pakistan in Multan. You could call that an away game, but I appreciate it was a flat track. Um, against, on paper, a strong bowling attack. You had Shweb Akhtar, Sami when he used to be good, and Saklen Mushtaq making a comeback. And it was India's first test match in Pakistan in 15 years, which seemed like a long time then. Um, I, I, I mean, on Pakistani soil. And then obviously here we are now with over 15 years, almost 16 years of no test cricket. But never mind. Um, but in the Seva, 309 in Multan, it was iconic. The speed at which he did it, it was just brilliant. I mean, you know, and I don't think at that point someone, like anyone could have comprehended, you know, no matter how flat a track, that yeah. something like that was possible. Like, you know, it was just the disdain with which he just came down the track and just you know, belted all those deliveries for six, six, four, four. I mean, it, it was it was just brilliant. And I remember he was at two ninety four, and he danced down the track and hit. I think it was mm-hmm. Seclen, uh for yeah. six to bring up his three hundred. I mean, it, there may be tougher conditions that the other three hundreds were scored in, but given this was the first, it was monumental against Pakistan. Um, and against a decent, well, pretty good bowling attack, um, and far ahead of its time in two thousand and four. So that that's my number five. Um, I mean, I, I did have this on my list slightly higher up. Uh, I had the same series: Rahul Dravid's two seventy and Rahul Pindi at uh, number five. Again, I mean, spoiler alert: I had I had Sevag at, at four, at the three hundred nine. It's just because I had rated it slightly higher than this one because of the pace of the innings, uh, yeah. the condition, the the circumstances, the first test match in Pakistan in 17 years or whatever it was for India. Um, so just just the context behind it, and also you mentioned Saklen, right? Because I think there was a period where Saklen disappeared from the world from the world stage, and then this was his comeback series in a way. And everyone was questioning his Pakistan cricket was you know up and down, 
back in the day and we're like okay where's you know where's the clan and he's come back and he we, we all realized okay now this is why he's been dropped or not picked uh, because he had a horrible series so and you know the, the, i mean the, the quality of bowling was same in both matches i think um so so yeah i would just because of the the quantum of the innings i mean i'm, I'm not going to you know um fight over it but but yeah i think travis 270 uh i'd put that at 5 although that was kind of the deciding test match in a way but it was mainly the pace of the innings that that's yeah that look, i mean <laughs> i had dravid's 217 rahul pindi as my number 7 so it was like an all right special <laughs> honorable mention right i and we probably have to go through the other list to see where it all sort yeah. of calibrates out but like i yeah. i agree with you i think sevags yeah. e- easily trumps dravid despite dravid's being the 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 deciding test match they were none for one but remember they were chasing yeah. our first innings total of only like what 190 or something or oh, no, say 230 yeah. it was around 230 so uh, sami's 49 um yeah. but <laughs> and he got run out but uh, anyways i i just think look okay just as a, as a slight um uh, aside Sekhlen Mushtaq i think he was so unlucky to be dropped after the O3 World Cup because he was probably our best performer in that world cup yeah. and in the months leading up in the years leading up to that world cup and he was only 27 and they dropped yeah. him it was always you know they, they did a clean slate uh, uh, and they dropped who i thought could have had a much more fulfilling career siklen mushtaq he he was in the wilderness for a year it was a bit of you know i think religion he you know he, his his mind and heart wasn't fully in cricket he played the odd one day international against south africa when south africa toured yeah. if you recall i think he played the third and he did pretty okay but then he just disappeared again i think danish canadia was preferred and he was making a comeback but i guess this was and seva yeah. bid his career goodbye i mean that's all i can yeah. say I, i it was a bit unfortunate i think you know just sorry uh, i know i've I've uh, moved away from the topic a little but yeah this is the point I wanted to make but anyways look I think we both agree that work on top of Dravid is a question of whether Dravid makes it into the five yeah yeah so I mean PV I mean everyone knows what my five and four were um the only other honorable mention if we can get into honorable mentions later on as well but is, is um Ganguly fans won't like this because he got a double hundred in this game But I have Yuvraj Singh's 169 in Bangalore. Um, again, because of the pace of the England, India was 60 for four uh, day one, I think it was, uh, and uh, I think India won that series one nil, if I remember. And uh, it was yeah, 60 for four. Ganguly came in, got a double hundred, but it was Yuvraj who kind of switched gears. You know, we had a they had a striker of 70, 80, which back are in you, those days was. Are you talking about the 07 game? It was the O seven game exactly. And if I'm putting on the hundred, well, it was the end. So here's the weird wreck havoc. Yeah. I mean, there was then, like, yeah. Shoaib Sh- Akhtar was. Um, I think Shoaib Akhtar was bowling. He only bowled like seven eight overs, and then he got injured or something. And then it was like Danish Kinnear bowled like two thousand overs for like two thousand runs. Yeah, Sir Afat. <laughs> <laughs> Although the bowling was really weak in that match. Yeah, so it <laughs> yeah, came out of nowhere. But yeah, look, <laughs> I agree. I just think they were uh, India were at home playing yeah. against. I'd say a rather depleted Pakistan team. I mean, obviously not compared yeah. to now, but compared to the teams of old. So, yeah, great. In, But yeah, that's I an honorable Rahul, mention. Yeah, the, and that's you, Raj, at one sixty. Yeah, you, Raj, one sixty nine. I got Kohli's two hundred as an honorable mention from the same yeah. game, but I didn't think they may yeah. make it. I actually also at Kohli. Kohli fans, look away. Uh, I Kohli <laughs> doesn't make it into my top five, but he's my number six. Um, his innings. at uh, the adelaide oval um against australia obviously discounted a bit oh he got centuries in both innings but i'm counting his 115 but just the fact that it came in a losing cause um and yeah. the, just the fact that there's so many innings to choose from here with yeah. india so i guess that's I think- why I think highlights wise and aesthetically just watching that innings isolate in isolation is probably one of the best because Sure. Taking on the likes of Johnson and stuff, it just looks very good. Uh, the shots that he played and, and and everything, but it's just, yeah, in, in the context of you know, 100 in each innings, and yet you end up losing the game. Not his fault, um, but but still. And and all the Kohli fans have unsubs- unsubscribed and are having a go at us in the comments. Yes, I mean, look, I 
my number four is Rishabh Pant. Uh, really? At nine. four? <laughs> yeah, I know it's very close. It's between three and yeah. four. My three and four are very close. It's not one and two. But Pant okay. innings is, I mean, that obviously, forget the fact that he didn't score 100. It was an 89, but it was brilliant. I mean, think of the context. India was 36 all out in the previous test. I mean, they, you know, and the fact that they, that test match sort of catapulted them into a series victory position is just magnificent, right? And the fact that he did not shy away from his natural game. He kept believing a great story of mental strength and fortitude and just making sure that he and Others around him continue to play positive yeah. cricket. I can think of so many teams, so many, that would have just gone <laughs> into their shells, right? But yeah. I think Punt, you know, like he gets a lot of flack for his style of play, which when it comes off looks brilliant, but if it doesn't, it it looks terrible sometimes. But I think he just believed in himself, you know, irrespective of the opposition and the fact that you're playing away in Australia at the Gabba. You know, it, for me, it was a monumental innings, far worth far more than the eighty nine as advertised. But just goes to show the 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 number one, two, three, the 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 sheer quantity to choose from. He for me slips into number four position. You could argue three, um, but you'll see my three later, and you can understand the conundrum. All right. I mean, I had um, obviously I had uh, the. The uh, the Sehwag innings at four, which we already spoke about. Uh, the only thing I, I'd say about the punt innings was, and I've look again. I think we're going to give away a lot early on because of the ordering of the list. Uh, is that uh, I think punt innings was actually it was the, it was in the decider, not the second. I think it was this was the fourth Test match when they were one one. Because India had drawn the previous, they'd come close to losing, oh, yes. and they do the previous one. And this was actually the winning um, innings, which you know it was like India about to lose, and they're about to draw, and then they wrote. Won it at the end, uh, and it was the Gabba, right? Where Australia have been. It was a fortress for Australia. They hadn't lost in fifteen years or something. So just for that reason, I would have it as, yeah. I, I mean, I have it as at number two. Um, so <laughs> again, context is everything. Yes, the quantum of runs is in there, but it's you know, and also the fact that it was a very depleted Indian team as well. So there was no Kohli. I think Rihanna was captain. Yep. Um, half the team was injured. I think they had to get their net bowlers in to like fill in because Boomerang and everyone got injured. So, yeah, I think it's just the context of it all. Um, and to chase 300 something on you know on the last day at the Gabba, um, phenomenal inning. So, so yeah, that's why I actually had it at, at, at that at number two. But at number four, yeah, I mean, I had um, uh, Sewa, 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 right? so. mm -hmm. and then what about your number three, Zaid? So then I have, uh, which I assume you probably have on your list as well as Sachin's 241 at the SCG, uh, the no cover drive, double hundred. Isn't it 248? 248, 241, a double hundred, 240 something. Not out is the key thing. Not out, not out at the SCG against the, the, uh, the premier Australian bowling lineup uh, with, you know, because he had some weakness to his game. So he didn't want to drive through the offside. Uh, I mean, that, that's phenomenal, right? I mean, to have that much control over such a long period of time, to score 240 odd, uh, phenomenal. Okay, it was in it was in a drawn test match. I think India ended up drawing the series one-one, which has, in those days was was a big achievement. Um, but but yeah, I mean, a phenomenal phenomenal innings. I mean, I I, I completely agree with you, which is why it's actually number two for me. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> yeah. It, 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 look. The reason why it's number two, I appreciate it's a first innings and all that, but yeah. you know, they had just lost the third test match. They had, you know, Tendulkar had a horrible series up until then, and the sort of, as you say, mental strength and self control, self restraint after having played for God knows how many years in your life and relied on that cover drive, completely taking it out of your your handbook, is just, you know, um, insane. Right, and the fact that you could still score 248 runs without your typically one of your highest scoring shots is even more impressive. Right now, I will say, even though I chose it at number two, I do say that look, it was against one of the greatest, or if not the greatest, Australian team of all time, yeah. but a team that was minus Shane Warne and Glenn McGrath. I think it's that is an important yeah. consideration. It was at the time around which Australia were near invincible, but that bowling yeah. attack in that series 
was led by Andy Bickle and Stuart McGill. So still yeah, very was, high quality. Yeah, Bracken and Stuart McGill they, and all those guys. Correct. And they're all high quality, yeah. but it wasn't a McGraw and Vaughan. So I, I, that's the only caveat. However, to do it at yeah. the SCG, difficult conditions, closer to home than any of the others when it comes to spin and all that. But still, yeah. I mean, it was brilliant. 248, not out. I mean, um, I, I mean, I put that as one of the hallmarks of of um, India's recent, uh, you know, test batting prowesses. I mean, I have it at number two. You could argue that, you know, could, could I bring it down? Is Rishabh Pant's 89 more valuable? Is it, again, due to the qu- status of the person we're talking about? Tendulkar, obviously a better batter than Pant. If you roll, change it around and Pant scored the 248 and Tendulkar scoring the 89... <laughs> Would I have still chosen the same? I'm not sure. Um, but I just think, I mean, Tendulkar's 248, given the self-control and all, just for me, how unique it was, puts it at two. Yeah, no, fair um, enough. So what do you have at three then? <laughs> my three is the one that you actually said at the start that we aren't going to have. Uh, so it's, or you weren't going to have. It's Tendulkar. Oh, of course. <laughs> I mean, there is absolutely no way a top three can be created without that innings. Because, again, yes, it was at home. But remember, it was a low-scoring game. Pak- India were, I mean, staring down at a loss, right? They had lost so many quick wickets. Tendulkar was the only, only person between Pakistan and victory. And for me, that was, you know, Pakistan's best ever bowling attack, you might argue. Um, and, you know... And it's just the fact that actually Pakistan winning ended up being a surprise after the position they were in just because of the slight collapse that happened just makes it all the more brilliant that this one man held the fort for India in such a high pressure contest. I mean, yes, I know it's at home, but when you're playing Pakistan and you're playing that bowling attack in the fourth innings with that sort of media scrutiny, I just think you can't look past it. That's for me. Now, you know. Now, this is why I was saying now I was in a bit of a conundrum. Do I choose that because that wasn't a losing cause or punts 89, right? Is the India-Pakistan tag worth more than a winning cause? And it's a question mark, right? If it were today, I'd say no. But back then yeah. when the rivalry was at its peak and you had, and Pakistan was probably at its strongest, I would say... I just slightly put Tendulkar up. And I, look, and I also go by, you know, we talk a lot about context and all, and it is everything. But for me, it's also aesthetics. Maybe it's a personal yeah. choice, but Tendulkar's aesthetics against Vaseem, Saklan, Vakar, I don't think Shreya Bhakta played that game. Um, I think all put together, it's just a joy to watch. Rasab Pant, it's a bit of a quiet taste when you watch him. He's a bit agricultural yeah. and, and a bit unorthodox. But I think in terms of the joy and the aesthetic quality, Tendulka just edges it for me. Look, uh, I think I've said a lot about this innings in the previous episode and got slated a little bit. Uh, I'm sure all the Tendulka fans will jump on it and say that was probably his best ever innings with injuries and the bowling attack and all of that. But at the end of the day, he played a bad shot to get out. <laughs> <laughs> and India lost the game. And when it got out, it was, they needed 17 or 18 runs, right? With four wickets in hand. So yeah, they, yeah. Know, they, didn't, yeah, just they were favorites. Um, I mean, if, again, if you look at the highlights, and I see it was a fantastic innings, right? He literally carried the team through that partnership with Nayan Mongia, I remember, a fall batsman. Um, but was. but look, I, I, I know, I mean, it's for me, it was an honorable mention just because India lost. And I don't want to draw parallels to this. I know we had Asit Shafiq previously. I'm not drawing parallels at all between Tendulkar and Shafiq. I know people will point out to us that we put him in, in our top five, but it's just the, the context, right? And and the fact that there weren't many other better innings in Pakistan, whereas I think in India's case, there are so many others. Um, so, so, a few other honorable, yeah. so would you say Tendulkar's 100 is, is, is lower quality than Dravid's 270? Because that Dravi 270 didn't have as much pressure around it, right? We had been bundled out for 230. I know he came in at none for one, but very quickly the yeah. the wicket flattened out. I mean, is this is the same series? You know, this is the series after, I think, when they had this 400 in partnership, right? So I know Dravid has, uh, you know, he's got tons of runs in Pakistan as well. I, I don't know. It's it's difficult to say. For, for me, it's 
A, it's 270 versus 130, the quantum of it. And in the end, India won that match. And it was a deciding test match, right? So India won it. Uh, and Dravid scored 270, right? So, Isn't that 270 out of 600, right? When you actually apply yeah. as a percentage of runs scored. I think Tendulkar had a higher... It was 100 and... Yeah, yeah. Over... Out of two, 250, 250 something, right? Against 250. Yeah. And he came in at four, not even didn't open. So, and so he came in all that put together. Something. I would yeah. personally weigh in. We can... Look, I, I, there's a very strong case for that. Look, I know, I know that the, the romantic cricket fan would have this right up there. I'm just being a bit mechanical here with my thinking. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, no emotions no, I'm into it. I'm willing to accept punt 89 yeah. as higher, higher than Tendulka uh, yeah. 100, but only if you accept in the negotiation <laughs> that Tendulka's 100 belongs in the five at the expense of let's, let, let's Yeah, let, let, let's get to that. I think number one, we all know what's coming, right? And let's then we can. Yeah. Or, is it, or or do, we, do we do number two already? Do we do number two already? Or this well, was number two? Well, actually, two. Well, I, I, I just repeat my two. It's Tindulkar's hmm. two, four, eight. And I think your number oh, right, two right, was right. Punts 89. No? Punts 89, correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So number one, the one and only. <laughs> VVS. VVS. <laughs> 281. 281. I mean, speak of Dravid, there's, there, there's a strong case for Dravid to be in the top, uh, you know, top five in that, but... <laughs> But for two, uh, for that innings and also the innings in Adelaide, let's not forget in 2003, yeah. you know, when it was Adelaide and Lakshman added again. But at that point, it was actually Dravid who, high, who, who was a top scorer. And it was yeah. in Adelaide, away from home. So I get all yeah. that. But you can't look past VVS. I mean, they followed on. India followed on. VVS Lakshman and Rahul Dravid, that partnership, I don't care whether it's home, away, on Mars, Jupiter, I don't care. It is. <laughs> is single-handedly, in my opinion, the greatest test innings of the 21st century, at least. Because, you know, th there's a India's story, right? Or Michael, worldwide. <laughs> Michael Slater, I think, had um, said just before when they were on the bus on the way to, to play on that day when they were, you know, when it started that day when they were far ahead and they sort of, he opened a pack of cigars and was like, oh, you know, we're all going to enjoy this. Uh, on the you know on the way back you know and they all laughed it was they thought it was a foregone conclusion they could not have imagined and then eight hours later they're on that very same bus journey home but far away from opening that cigar box I mean to think of that confidence the almost I'd say overconfidence but you won't blame them in the position they were in thinking so sure that you know what we could have the cigar now but we know we're gonna want to have it <laughs> later so let's just leave, leave it to later I bet they wish they had that cigar when they were on top because it did not end that way. I, I mean, to such an extent that Australia were, uh, since then, for many years, were too scared to enforce a follow-on. They've been yeah. in so many positions after that to actually enforce follow-ons against lesser teams, but it's just this psychological um, damage that's been done, which is why yeah. I've noticed they are the least least in uh, they are the in terms of the number of enforces of follow-ons that they've done australia actually the lowest yeah. you know yeah. and I, I can't remember i think they've enforced since then but it i think the next time they enforce it was at least 10 years later i think yeah you can fact check me but um yeah. i just i think all that put together and against the a phenomenal australian attack with shane Warne yeah. in spin friendly conditions like come on yeah i mean everything you know all the stuff that kind of goes, is, goes into my criteria the context, the quantum, uh, the circumstances. This add to this, that the you know, aestheticism. I mean, like the aestheticism, everything. Right? It, this just ticks all the boxes. Uh, in tough conditions, again, when the team is following on, backs against the wall, and again, Australia were un were winning consecutively 15, 14 games in a row. They hadn't lost a series in like five years or something. So just to like break that Australian kind of. You know, voodoo, yeah, voodoo. yeah I agree. It's, it, 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 it really goes a long, long way. And yeah, I mean, in my books, probably the top three best innings of all time. Um, but uh, in test matches, but definitely India is India's best. And I'm sure many will agree. Not many will disagree with us on, on this one. No, for it has sure. to be. Sure, right? I think the disagreement yeah. comes with two and three, right? You've got punt yeah. at 89. Before, before we get... Before we get into before we get into the final thing, maybe a couple of honorable mentions. Just to, I'm sure there'll be some in the comments saying, "Oh, you didn't pick this one." Kohli's 254 against South Africa and this and that. 
Um, I'll go with another hipster pick. Um, the streets won't forget. It's another Lakshman innings, but it was um, again. I didn't pick it. You know, probably not in my top five or top ten just because of the quantum. But he, it was a seventy odd against Australia in a chase. I think it was in Chennai or Mahali when they were chasing two twenty and they were one hundred and ten for eight. Uh, and then he batted with Phenomenal Ishan innings. Sharmov. Yeah, to 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 win the game by one wicket. Again, Australia had it. Oh, the only thing that I've got that. You know, I guess goes not against him, but you know, kind of supports the argument for him not being in the top ten that innings. Is Australia's lead spinner in that series was Nathan Horitz. Um, so <laughs> slight, slight, yeah. <laughs> but still, I mean, you know, to, to bat with the tail and and winning in a winning cause again, a phenomenal inning. So, so yeah, for me, that was another honorable mention. Yeah, I mean, I I'm looking at my honorable mentions. I think I've. Mentioned Dravid's Adelaide, Ebe, Dravid's Rahul Pindi, Lakshman's Adelaide, Kohli. Sevag's one, yeah. Sevag's one ninety five at the MCG, which he scored in one day. <laughs> in against, I think Bari, in the game they lost. No? Yeah, that, that, that's why I didn't I have actually, it because they lost. Yeah, they lost. No, I actually had Ganguly's innings in the first Test match that was drawn. Yeah. That was a good one. I I didn't have it as in my honorable list, but now that I think about it, I think that was a really good innings, wasn't yeah. it? I think it was a regular fourth yeah. innings, uh, yeah. thing. You know, but it's just again when you talk about India and batting, sort of like Pakistan bowling and sort of, you know, yeah. there's so many yeah. options to choose from. You know, I mean, and, and the fact is, their own home conditions aren't necessarily the easiest batting conditions either. So you know how we. We almost downplayed home advantage in certain instances. There is definitely home advantage, but when you're playing against Shane Warne in your spin-friendly home conditions, I mean, you you can't really call it home advantage, right? Because yeah. I mean, yeah, but having said that, Warne and 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 just so everyone, Warne average his average was the worst in India. Which was yeah. in his book the biggest conundrum, right? Even though in the most spin friendly conditions, Shane Warne had the worst. And he attributed that to the strength of India's batting against spin. That's yeah. why. His average was the best against Pakistan on the flattest of wickets <laughs> because we couldn't play spin properly. He, he's, I think he says only Sayyid Anwar could actually come close to yeah. playing him well. But in India, it was Lakshman, Chaf, I mean, you name all of them, Tendulkar, but. Um, I'm just trying to think of whether I missed any, but I think I have I've captured all my yeah. my special mentions. I mean, all of them. Ironically, it's it's hundreds against Pakistan or beginnings against Pakistan or Australia that make it into a top five. But I guess that's uh, those are the beginnings, right? I mean, yeah, I mean those. I mean, yes. I mean, for India, it's against Pakistan and against Australia, right? I mean, they they are yeah. too big, but against most teams, that is the case. So, look, um, in terms of the ordering now for our top yeah. three. Okay, so I think right. we agreed on number one. Yeah. Number two Point and down. three. So I think we are torn between three options for two slots. Punts 89. Yeah. Tendulkar's 248 and Tendulkar's Chennai 100. We've yeah. got to pick two. <laughs> <laughs> um, only, only because we don't want to make it a Tendulkar 2-3. Maybe you can put punt in. <laughs> uh, well, yes. Okay. I agree with that. I agree. And punts was a match winning yeah. innings. The other two Tendulkar ones weren't. Even though India should have won that game again in Sydney it was, if it wasn't for Steve Waugh's rare guard yeah. innings. I think there was a slightly unfortunate umpire decision in LBW from Anil Kumble, which could have gone either way. But anyways, I won't get that, into that. So you're right. So I put punt at 89. I put that at 3. Okay, it's definitely in the top three, but I'm putting it at three. And number two, <laughs> I'm gonna go with Tendulkar's two four eight. Do you agree with that? Yeah, yeah. I just think the, the hundred. Yeah. It's the way he got out. It's the way he got out against Pakistan. It was just, you know, it was against the run of play. That just dilutes it slightly for me. I had Tendulkar's 248 above Tendulkar's 100 because, again, quantum, yeah. the self control away yeah. from home, not as good a bowling attack, but a bowling attack that had got the better of India in the previous test match and it got Tendulkar out cheaply previously. I think it's a great 
story of mental strength. So for me, yeah. Tendulkar two and Punter three. Do we agree on yeah. that? Yeah, all of them against Australia. So good. <laughs> None of the Pakistan ones are in there. <laughs> really? Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> I can live with uh, that. <laughs> so none of the Pakistan ones make it to the top three. I'm questioning my life choices now, but never mind. Um, I uh, look. We said at the start. I think we were always going to get more consensus on this one. I'm, I'd love to know what our fans think about that. Um, easier than Pakistan, um, but I'm sure when we look through the other teams, we're going to get a few. slightly different opinions which would be interesting to to um uh, uh well, it, it, it's a deep dive into um as i just before any closing thoughts on the quality of india's batting in the last well, i mean you can say 20 years 30 years uh, since our our respective birth years or whatever but in the last let's say 30 years i think india's batting would you say india's batting is the best across any team i know we haven't yet gone through australia the only team that comes close but just when i look at this list i mean and and i'm sure at the end we'll we'll try and pick yeah. the best across all teams and I, i'm starting to look past a couple of them here i mean look i think you just have to look at the quality of innings that didn't even did that didn't even make it and i'm sure our um you know our fans or or our our listeners and watchers will they will be shouting in the comments and oh you missed this innings you missed that innings like for example right, we had Yunus Khan's 267 as number 1 for Pakistan right spoiler alert um but for me i think if you look at the equivalent of that that's probably Kohli's 250 or something right 254 because i was a home test match and well you know similar conditions blah 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 um, um i would put in uh, Yunus Khan's 267 on par with Dravid's 270 maybe It's maybe yeah so that, that yeah maybe yeah probably probably that right so that's india's probably fourth or fifth best against uh, pakistan's best right but what about um, ibzam's 58 against pan's 89 ooh no i know i know, <laughs> I, know, I, know, I, know i know it's it's different but but yeah look i think yeah if you, the anyways bangladesh no, multan come on <laughs> come on anyways out of um, maybe that's comparable to um, lakshman 70 but anyways look i think <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, it is. But yeah, back to India. Look, I think you know we've gone through this list. You know, obviously we we had to keep it relevant to kind of our generation. You know, we haven't seen Gavaskar or you know kind of the, the players of that generation. I'm sure they would have had some phenomenal innings as well, but we just haven't seen them or remember them um, during during our time. But I'm sure there must be some phenomenal innings from from that era as well. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, we've gone through this list. We haven't mentioned Rohit Sharma. We haven't mentioned Virat Kohli. <laughs> uh, we sort of mentioned Kohli. um so many other you know great innings along over the years but it's just recently i'm sure there've been some fantastic innings but it's just especially at home for india like jadeja's come in and score a 100 late in or akshar patel has come in and scored a 60 70 when india has been in trouble but there's just so many of them and there's they always win at home that you kind of lose a bit of the context behind it right so i agree with but that but anyways back, back to your original question i think yeah over the past three decades if you look at it consistency wise probably the best batting you know across all formats they haven't had a dip you know where you feel like oh you know the batting looks weak today or there's this one batter who's kind of like but it just goes holding. to show that a lot of this these innings have been at times when india were not in your top two yeah. test play nations right I mean, 2001 i won't call them top two three they, they were just up ganguly yeah. were catapulting them into that you know to be you know in the reckoning amongst the world's best but i think there was australia and there was a massive vacuum and then you had sort of the others rather inconsistent so it just goes to show how unbalanced the team was right batting and bowling right the bowling really yeah. used to let them down quite a lot especially away from home and to think and to say that now you know and they've got the likes of bumrah it just goes to show how things have changed right had bumrah been at the time when india had the sort of batting maestros that they have had or they had another version of bumrah yeah. i think they would have given australia that mighty australian team a real run for their money i mean to an ex- big to a large extent they kind of did well there we go um zaid thank you very much lots of fun as always and we'll be in touch with our next um country and their greatest destinings of all time thanks ahit thank you